Hey, morning guys. Hope that you are well today. We are literally four days out from the Australian National Championships. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm in the full rest up mode now. No more arm wrestling, no more training, uh, other than just shadow boxing and going through the game plans uh, for every arm wrestler and all that sort of stuff. But not long, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it should be good today for me. I'm actually gonna go and see the doc. Uh, I need to get some um, anti-inflammatories for my back because it plays up around comp time. So I need to make sure that it's good to go. Hey Richard, thanks for the message mate. Yeah, to answer that one, it's pretty easy um, to answer. Look, when, you, when you're first into the sport, um, you get inflamed pretty quickly. Um, that ulnar nerve and the radial nerve that goes through the elbow there, they get really inflamed pretty quickly when you start to, to arm wrestle for the first time. Um, where, the, where the problem comes is when you're trying to pin people and also when you're really trying to dig in and stop people from pinning you. So the, the key is, man, you really got to take arm out of it. Like every effort in your elbow, take out of it. Learn to float forward with the pressure and just keep using your hand. So I know it's a concept that is a little tricky to get your head around, but the key to longevity and avoiding that inflammation in that early sort of six to 12 months in the sport is, is really focusing on just using your hand as opposed to using your arm. Um, it's a bit hard to demonstrate it, but look, have a look at a few of my videos, you'll find, you'll see the way that I train. That's definitely the key, man. And, um, but just keep pulling. Whatever you do, don't stop. And then I just thought I'd do a shout out to Richard Jordan, just sent me a message. Uh, new to the sport, good luck, mate, going through a lot of pain. Um, but if you keep it all in the hand, and it's gonna be a lot easier for you, and you're gonna learn a whole lot more about instincts on the table as well. So just resist that urge to use heavy side pressure when you're training, and just keep it focused on the hand, and all will be well. So there we go, just got the, the prescription for the old anti-inflammatories and my back's going to be good for this weekend. And uh, yeah, be in fine form for nationals. Alrighty guys, it is absolutely pouring outside but uh, I'm going to go and get some stuff so I'm going to I'm gonna have to make a dash. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm getting wet. This is ridiculous. I'm underneath the covers and I've been saturated. About 145 bucks will get me a lapel mic and an external recorder. Um, that'll do the job, but uh, for another day, I think, for another day. All right, just heading down to a local school here, Fernbrook State School, to catch up with a bunch of community members and to hear about what's happening in the area. So uh, one of the uh, benefits of my other channel, The Great Review, but anyway, should be an interesting afternoon. Alrighty, so just finished the meeting with the local um, councillors and the local sort of community people that um, are kind of in the know and what's going on. So that's always cool to find out what's happening locally. But um, uh, if you want to hear about what's actually happening locally, you can check out my other channel, The Greater Review. But now it's off home. Catch up with the, the wife and kids. Anyway, guys, that's it for the day. Only four days till nationals uh, now. So it's, it's getting all very exciting. I've seen that. Uh, the president of the AAF put up the medals and they look pretty amazing. So hopefully going to get myself a couple of them this weekend. Uh, if you're in Brisbane, I'd love to see you there. It'll be at the Paddington Hotel. Uh, preliminaries, I believe, start at 10 a.m. with the finals being in the late afternoon. But uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.